In this video, we'll talk about some of the emerging literacy activities for students. Emergent literacy describes the early stage when students are only beginning to acquire language and communication skills, which serve as the foundation for reading, speaking, and writing. This can be as a child in your native language or as an adolescent or adult acquiring an additional or additional languages. For this video, we'll focus on helping young learners acquire foundational literacy skills. The reading and writing abilities that help students become traditional readers and writers are also referred to as emergent literacy. It covers all of the behaviors, assumptions, and misunderstandings that students have when they engage in activities that involve the production or use of print. Emergent readers are young children who have expressed interest in reading, but are unable to do so on their own yet. Even if they can read certain words, they still need constant assistance in order to comprehend print. Emergent writing, which includes drawing, doodling, and letter writing, is how writing is typically introduced to students. The term emerging writers applies to children who are still learning how to communicate effectively through written language. Literacy can be developed through a variety of activities, including talking, singing, reading, storytelling, drawing, and writing. Here are five emergent literacy activities to engage in with your student or child. Number one, word search bingo. Teachers can create a bingo game by providing the students with sheets of paper that include a list of words from the chapter of the book they are reading to them. As you go through the book, have the kids circle any words they recognize from the word list. Have a class discussion regarding the words they learned after finishing the chapter. Number two, Hot Wheels print one-to-one. -one. A teacher can write sentences on a chart or piece of paper for this game. Then place green, yellow, and red circles beneath each word. Teachers can make a tiny key to explain to the children what the traffic signal colored circles mean. Students will be guided by this as they begin with the green circle, which denotes the beginning of the sentence. Then move on to the yellow circle, which indicates the continuation of the sentence, and finally the red circle, which represents the conclusion of the sentence. The kids will learn the fundamentals of punctuation as they run their fingers along the words. Number three, singing nursery rhymes. We are all aware that children respond better to different musical styles. Therefore, teaching children nursery rhymes in class or at home can aid in their development of reading and listening skills. Many kids like the nursery rhyme, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, Humpty Dumpty, and Ba Ba Black Sheep. You might introduce them to the alphabet song in order to teach them the alphabet as well. Number four, playing with Play-Doh. Children can mold the dough into various shapes with the help of their teachers. While molding the clay in accordance with the word and guiding the kids to do the same, teachers can help them in learning words, animal names, or shapes. Children can also use the clay to create the alphabet or numbers. Children enjoy playing this game since it's easy and fun to roll, squish, and flatten the dough. Number five, guess that word. This is a phonomic awareness exercise, which involves identifying and modifying individual sounds in words. In this game, an adult should set out various items and images of things the child is familiar with. Tell the child that you'll be saying words out loud in a funny voice, and they must identify the object or image before you finish saying the word. Feel free to drag out the word until a child correctly guesses it, since children might have trouble remembering the name of the object shown. Children are encouraged by this game to focus on the different sounds that make up words. The sounds that make up words are highlighted in this game to help kids become more aware of them. Literacy plays a critical role in helping students mature into socially aware adults. In order to communicate coherently, remain updated on events, and understand the issues facing our world, one must be able to read and write. Further, it is our job as educators to teach students not only to read words, but also the world around them. Emergent literacy activities provide the starting point for that work. Emergent literacy refers to the early stage of language and communication development in children, which lays the groundwork for reading, speaking, and writing. Several activities, including talking, singing, reading, telling stories, drawing, and writing, can help a child develop their literacy. Word Search Bingo, Hot Wheels 1 to 1, 
Nursery rhyme singing, guess that word, and playing with Play-Doh are some games that adults may employ to aid kids in developing their vocabulary, listening, and learning skills. That is a wrap on this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, make sure to press the like button. Tell us, which emergent literacy activities do you use? If you have any questions or comments regarding this topic, make sure to write them in the comments section below. Thank you for your service, educators. Until the next time, adios.